I think there was a little bit of confusion during lab about how to calculate the diameter of the field of view when you're looking through the microscope. So if we're looking at the microscope, it's first useful just to remind ourselves what parts we're looking at. So up here, these are the ocular lenses or the eye pieces. And the way that most of the microscopes are set up right now, those eye pieces are magnifying 20 times. Just make sure that you check each time because there are eye pieces that also magnify just 10 times. And then the objective lenses are these guys. We have four different objective lenses. You should have started off at low power. The low power objective lens magnifies four times. So to figure out our total magnification, we're just gonna multiply these two values together. So our total magnification under low power is gonna be 80x or 80 times. So what you should have done is taken a ruler um, and put the ruler on the stage when you were looking through the microscope at low power. And probably when you looked through there, oops, you saw, this is your field of view, and you maybe saw one millimeter line, another millimeter line, um, and that might have been about it because it magnified so much. So I think um, most people got that they could see around 2.3 millimeters or about 2.5 millimeters. If you just said two millimeters or three millimeters, I don't think you are measuring quite exact enough. So we wanna get to the 10th of the millimeter. So what if you change objective lenses and you're looking at a different power? How are you gonna know what the diameter of the field of view is? All right, so I take that 2.3 millimeters, which was the diameter of my field of view under low power, and I'm gonna multiply that by the actual magnification of that low power objective lens, which is four, and that's unitless. I'm then gonna divide that by the power of the objective lens that I wanna know what the field of view actually is. So let's say I wanna know what the field of view is or the diameter of the field of view is for the high power objective lens. And if we look on the side of the lens, that's actually 100x or it multiplies 100 times. So we'll put 100 here. And if I do the math, I should get 0 0.092 millimeters. So that means when I'm looking through that high power objective lens, and I see my image here, the diameter of my image, so from here to here, is approximately 0 0.092 millimeters. Now that's a really small number, so it would actually make more sense for us to convert this into nanometer, or uh, micrometers, so that's actually 92 micrometers. I just moved the decimal point over to the right three times. So let's say through um, the microscope on high power, I am viewing a chloroplast. And I want to approximate the size of that chloroplast. If I know that the diameter of my field of view is 92 uh, micrometers, I can then approximate the size of that chloroplast. So if I take that chloroplast and I think about how far it is from here to here, compared to how far it is from here to here, I could imagine, I could probably fit five chloroplasts across the side. So then if I take 92 micrometers divided by five, that will give me the approximate length of my chloroplast. So I end up with my approximate diameter of the chloroplast as, I believe, 18.5 five micrometers. Now let's say I'm using a different lens and this lens multiplies 20 times. So I'm still gonna use my same 2.3 millimeter diameter under low power, which was four. Oops, that's not very good. And now I'm going to divide that amount by my new objective lens, which let's say multiplies 20 times, so 20. 
So I'll do 2.3 times 4 divided by 20. And I get 0, oops, 0 0.46 millimeters, which is the same as 460 micrometers. So that way, if I have an image here, there's my field of view. And um, what should we put in here? How about a little paramecium? I can then approximate the length of that paramecium again. If I know my field of view, the diameter is 460 microns. Let's say I can fit four of those paramecia um, end to end across that field of view, then the paramecium I can say is what, about 115 micrometers across. So hopefully that's cleared up a little bit about how to figure out the diameter of the field of view using different objective lenses. Remember, you don't need to worry about the magnification of the ocular or the eyepiece because that remains constant throughout. If we were to include it in those equations, it would just cancel out. So we can ignore those.